sitting under the creepy red light just editing the video I didn't realize till I abbreviated the name the reservoir dog it actually abbreviates into turd <laughs> it's not staying like that I tell you but yeah go on I'm gonna leave it like that and just be giggles Morning there. Ooh. Got down the reservoir pretty late last night. Here for about half past seven. Had a walk around. Not many people here really. And I've decided to fish peg number one, which is just at the top end of Swanwick side by the outer bounds area. I uh, didn't get a rod out till probably 11 o'clock last night and uh, a very quiet night stayed up like I normally do didn't see or hear anything down this end of the lake at all so we'll see what today brings quick shout out to all the people that have been giving us a thumbs up liking the videos and commenting is all appreciated. Thank you. I've had the kettle on and I've made myself a brew. I'm just sitting back relaxing, listening to the dog snoring. It's nice just to take in the morning. I think everybody all agrees we all need more times in life like this. No stress of work, no pressure of life. Just simply enjoying the moment. Me, a snoring dog, and nature. What could be better? I think it's about time I change the line on them spools. They're all getting curly really from all of the big carp I caught in France and playing them on the clutch. I find this is the fastest way to do it. Stick a bank stick through the spool in the main line, stick it in the silt in the margin, and start winding away. Now, you might say, I'm not watching him, re-spooling three wheels, but this being bedtime stories, you don't have to. As I mentioned, France, if you want to see some big carp getting caught, check out my other videos on the channel, there's plenty to take a look at, and they are some really big carp. That's all three wheels re-spooled, nice fresh line, rods are out, ready to go. I suppose I better get truffle up. Hello in there. Were you having a snooze? Yes, was I? <laughs> I'm going Betty Buys. Alright then, back Betty Buys again. Oh, sorry, did I wake you up? I'll leave you be. Okay, bye-bye. And after 10 minutes of playing, worn out again. A quick little bit of information about Peg One. 
In front of peg one, you've got the four margin, easy to cast to with several features along that bank. Going to the right of peg one, you've got this lovely looking bay area. Now it is out of bounds for bivvies, but you can cast your rigs down there. Plenty features, bulrushes, and overhanging trees in the corner. Lake bed is pretty uniformed again at four foot to five foot. It's pretty silky. <laughs> silky? Silky smooth, silky smooth. What I meant to say is, it's pretty silty. And to check out all of these margin spots, you're going to need a good pair of these. Had a bit of dinner, filled me belly. I was getting really hungry. It's only a steak slice, but I love me steak slices. Mm. Anyway, uh, got myself a brew. What's been happening? Been fishing for about five hours. What have I seen? I've seen spawning carp. Mm. All in the margins. Can see them when I look through the binoculars. And yeah, they're all getting jiggy with it. So I think in the next couple of hours, I'll probably move. After watching the carp swimming around for the last few hours, it's obvious and clear that they're spawning and it's looking unlikely that I'm gonna catch anything. I've made myself a nice Irish coffee and reeled the rods in. Truffle's gone back to sleep. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the night. I'll see you next time.